Hi, I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. Today I'll be showing you how to restore Google Authenticator from a backup. And I hope you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. So if you have a new phone you will need to restore your Google Authenticator separately to your standard phone backup as restoring your iPhone backup unfortunately won't bring across the Google Authenticator codes which you'll need to add individually. So first you need to ensure that you have backed up your codes. I've actually created a video on how you back up your codes which I'll put into the top right hand corner now. These steps will show you what to do if you have already backed up your codes and not if you've lost your current phone without these backups as that is a different process. And I'm going to take you through restoring Gmail account using your backup codes now. So the first thing we need to do is install Google Authenticator onto our phones. So I'm going to head over to our phone now. So I'm on an iPhone and if you go to the App Store and then type in Google Authenticator. Okay, and then you need to install the one that looks like they're kind of on like a dial with a G. And once that's installed, if you click onto open, and now we have Google Authenticator installed onto our phone. So now what we're gonna do is just head back onto our computer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign into my Gmail account. And it's now asking me for my two-step verification code or my code for my Google Authenticator. Now I don't actually have access to that phone or that Google Authenticator any longer. So what I need to do is I need to try another way of accessing my account. So I'm gonna click on to try another way. It then states that I can use different ways that I can sign in. Now obviously we can't use that Google Authenticator app any longer, but we do have our backup codes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter in one of our eight digit backup codes now. If I just paste that in now and click on to next. And now that we've managed to access our account, we're provided with an email from Google stating that we've had a new sign in using a backup code. I'm just going to click onto that. So it states here that an eight digit backup code has been used rather than using the verification code from my phone. And it's asking me if there was a problem due to a problem with my phone, what I can do is I can update my two-step verification settings. So that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna click onto that link and re-enter my password. And if I scroll down, what I now have the option to do is to change my phone. So what I'm gonna do here is click on to change phone. He's then asked me what type of phone I have. So I have an iPhone, so I'm going to click onto that and then click onto next. And then I need to head over to my phone. So what I'm going to do now is just open up the app on my phone, click on to begin setup. Then I'm going to scan the barcode. And now that's appearing in my authenticator app, I'm going to click onto next. Then it's asking me to enter in the code. And you can click on to done. Now that we've actually entered in that Authenticator app, we can now obviously sign into our Gmail account using the new Authenticator codes that we'll receive on our new phone. So if you're restoring other codes, say for example, you've had added security for the likes of a crypto wallet or an exchange, these will also need to be re-added manually. So the way that you do that is we head back over to our phones and if we click on the plus in the top right hand corner and then go to manual entry, you can then enter in the name of the account and then you'll need to put in your backup or your secret key into this section and then click on the plus button. So that completes how to restore your Gmail codes for Google Authenticator. I'll also put a link below to a step-by-step -step guide, which will also be available on my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews, and tutorials, then please head over to my website or hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.